This was perfect. Later in the day, it was time to relax and grab a cold one. We sat back and enjoyed the moment. Boating can be so amazing, unpredictable too. For instance, can you believe this turned into... Yep, we're about to be hit by another boat. Let's get started. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our this next adventure. Oh, Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. said that this anchor has the worst mud ever. I can already smell something funky, so... Oh, really? Oh, they have a cooling on it, huh? Well, that's just the right Yeah. We're so happy to be cruising again. The plan is to weigh anchor and take a short hop over to a new spot along the Long Island Sound. Jeremiah and I have a pretty solid routine when it comes to anchoring. I prefer to handle the tackle and he prefers to operate the engines. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing no moment. Just because it's easy. Are you uh, emptying? Are you moving out? Yes. No. I'm reorganizing the head, our guest head, creating space for the somebody who's moving on. Who's moving on? I'm not gonna say yet. And um, so this is where I kept all the bug sprays. You don't even know. Do you even know what I kept in here? Mm, no. Yes. I was scared to come over here. <laughs> and then um. You never know it, but there's a whole bunch of storage under here. Uh -huh. And I just put them in Ziploc bags and I put it all under there. We're like good for another year on sunscreen and bug spray. There's like big bags like this, probably five of them. It felt so nice to be off the dock relaxing at anchor. We've had some pretty bad luck recently and we were happy to put it behind us. Fate, however, had something else in mind. We'd like to welcome our hit and run boater to the party. Well, they kind of crashed ours, but anyway. This is. This is. It's gotta be hammered, man. Let's record that. Now they're in front of my boat again. Just hanging out. 
for no reason. The reason Jeremiah doesn't like that they're in front of us is because there are high winds currently pushing them towards our bow, again. Off the starboard side now. There's not much fun about a boat slamming repeatedly into your bow. They must have been on something because they mostly just stood there, looking down. It took some serious motivating on our part to get them to act. They're obviously intoxicated, no idea what they're doing out here. Um, they're screaming, don't talk to me like that, instead of trying to like stop the incident from happening. So, um, and then if they, right now they're floating, but they leave, that's a complete hit and run. Uh, we've got their name and or their, their, their boat number, so we'll see how it goes. This was all pretty maddening. They seriously just floated there for about 20 minutes or so. No response to our calls, nothing. It was like they were in a trance. I don't think they hit that side. They did. They hit that side too? Um, well, they were right here. Yeah. Right like this. Do you see marks? No. Well, right here, there's definitely marks in the front here. Um, I just need to check that bridle, so we're probably going to need to pull that bridle up. And then they just drug their boat all the way down the side of the boat. They just drug their boat. I know. I'll get in after the storm passes. Still here, floating. Crazy, man. I believe we drugged, huh? Yeah, that's drunk morons. I believe we did drag. Yep, so they are turning east in the Long Island Sound. What anchorage is this? Um, it's like Cobbs Island. They are now turn east and they're leaving. They're just walking, they're driving away. So we will report that. Jeremiah took the paddleboard down to look at the damage. What does it look? How bad does it look? Um, well, there's a green mark, but I mean, it doesn't look like structural damage. What about all the way down our hall? Right, well, I haven't had a chance to be hurt. It's gonna be okay. Is it a big crime for a hit and run? Yeah, I'm sure they're just drunk. I'm gonna go look at them. They were probably drunk. Well, they should have just stopped so we could have taken their information. They could have paid for it. They're idiots. They weren't the most intelligent people, honey. Seriously. So far, it just looks like some gel coat damage along with some graphics damage. Although, we're a little concerned about the fiberglass in the bow as they were bouncing against it. The red stripe? Yeah. So what do you do? You report it, you get your, then you sue them for how much the damage is? Well, I imagine that we could sue and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think in this case. It's just the point, like, I know. what are you doing? I know. Well, I think you should get in trouble for a hit and run. Yes, uh, that too, that too. And we're here, and they know we're here. Right, we could have been taken on water in distress, sinking because of what they did, and they just left. Yeah. And they should be arrested for that, for sure. The guy was just wasted, I think. He just slammed into the boat. They didn't know what they were doing. They were caught up in the bridle. They weren't even supposed to be near us, man. It was crazy. And um, they came, they hit the boat. I, I ran out there. By the time they, I, I saw them, I went up. They were under the bow already, slamming into the boat, gassing it, hooked on the bridle. I was like, stop, man, just stop. And the guy was just falling all over the place, and she was screaming. And then he stopped and checked Brittany out while all this was going on. Just. I was in very little. Yeah, but still. My and then, the JJ was and then, probably. Yeah, and then drug down the boat and all this stuff. And then the, the storm, right when the storm hits, this happens. And then, um, and it wasn't because of the storm, it's just because they weren't paying attention at all. 
Um, but then they kind of waited for the storm and then they just bolted out of here. So I was like, you know what? If someone's gonna do a hit and run, we're gonna record them. So we got it all on video. We got their number. So, you know, uh, that kind of stuff pisses me off. I mean, you know, there's a hit and run and yeah, it's probably minor damage. It's some scrapes, but what if it was more and the boat was going down? That's someone that doesn't care for anybody and their safety and they just roll out, you know, so. Yeah, you know, you know, that's the fact of life, man. That's how people are. Some people are, so. Norwalk police were nice, though. Yeah, they're cool. They're a good yeah. guy. That sucked. But most importantly, everyone is safe, and we think that Calypso is good. But we'll have a pro make sure of that. There was some flexing at the bow while they were bouncing against us, so we just want to be sure no fiberglass is damaged. It was probably their boat flexing, as ours is super thick, but we'll make sure. In the meantime, the police report is filed and we've been assured that there will be an arrest made. Fortunately, we were able to get their insurance company info from the vessel number to cover the damages. So that's all in work. A big lesson learned here is if something happens to you, grab a camera and record it all. This footage was the number one thing that the police wanted for proof. Thanks for the hit and run and for leaving us without checking to see if everything was okay. You're truly a qualified captain. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Well, it takes always smells so good. There's like a hairline right here. <laughs> well, today's the big day. I'm excited to get to the boat today and move on. I'm passing by Calypso, North Carolina. Our brand new dinghy. They look like they have little penises. Good luck on your first cruising adventure. Ah, thank you. Oh, stop. Hi. Don't be mean. We got an Uber to get some groceries and we saw this cute little bar to stop at. It must be warmer today. It's a lot warmer. You're doing a great job there, honey. Thank you. Like, man, those are really big to come like big, you know? Oh, back door entrance. Well, I guess you can go to the bathroom. You ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> VHF antenna firmly mounted. It's all burned up in here. I guess we won't be leaving early. The problem is everything's so small I can't freaking read it. Oh, well, you're oh right God. in front of us. It's gone. Take me back! You can't take me back! I'm gonna turn north and probably put out the head tail. It's nice and smooth. It's like, oh, oh, oh! Victory! Have a good time with it. You have to be to come back into New York. What do you think? About what? Uh, put your butt. Put it right under your butt. Oh, you want to do some naked shots? Probably. Oh my goodness! How cool is that? Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.